Hey guys, this is going to be another video in my Nomad Sculpt the Basics tutorial series. And today I'm going to go over a few of the kind of basic, more of the orientation functions and a few of the other tools that are super crucial to my workflow and show you all how I use those. It hopefully helps. Bye. So in this video, I'm going to cover two of the functions that are most useful to me that I use constantly throughout my workflow process. So that's going to be mirroring and cutting out a shape from another shape. So let's add another circle here. Validate it. So now we have these two shapes, right? Say we want to cut out this smaller one from the big one and make it hollow. First of all, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to blending. I'm going to turn the opacity down which is also I'm using constantly throughout my work process so that now I can see where is this other shape going to lay when it goes. I'm using these all the time with my joints and things like that, especially when I'm cutting in and out of things. So then what you want to do, if you're paranoid like me, you're going to clone both of these and then we'll hide them so we can save them for later in case we end up not liking how that cuts it out and we want to have those piece, separate pieces saved for later. Then you're going to hide the circle that you want to cut out, but you're going to select it. And then you see you get these little hashing lines there. So that means it's selected, but it is hidden. So then we want to go up to Boolean and do voxel merge. I tend to, when I'm merging pieces or remeshing pieces, I tend to get them between three and 400 resolution here. That usually gives me a good amount of detail. Voxel merge, that's okay. And then now we have this perfectly cut out little circle. And we can go back to blending too. Then that lets you see exactly where that's cut out. But that is super useful. And then sometimes I'll go and I'll grab uh, my smooth tool and maybe smooth up the edges here. After I cut something out, it can be a little bit jaggedy sometimes. So that's one tool that is super useful I'm constantly using. Another one is the mirror tool, which I covered a little bit of the um, symmetry function in that first video. So this is going to be related to that. So first, I want to make sure I'm showing my line. I like to, for when I'm doing mirroring, I like to make sure that my symmetry is set on world. And if I'm doing a new figure that I know I'm going to want symmetrical features on, when I add my shape, it's going to add it perfectly on the center line. So I will keep those shapes in line with that center line as long as I'm going to be mirroring them. And if I need to be moving them and changing them to a different position, I'll try and wait till I'm figured, until I'm done with that. So say this is, you know, whatever little feature we did, we sculpted this, worked on it, and then we want this to be an exact copy on that other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna validate it. We're gonna go up here, make sure world is selected because that's gonna be that green line down the middle there, mirroring, and whichever side it's on, you pick that one. So it's on the left side, we're gonna do left to right, we're gonna force the symmetry, and then there we go. Now we have two equal pieces. I like to go, the pivot is another really important one that I didn't get used to learning using until recently. So sometimes when you pivot and you're moving things around, your middle section gets squirrely, right? Like that's not how I want it to move. So I'm going to go pivot. I'm going to center it. It's going to center it between those two symmetrical pieces. And then I'm also going to align it, which then gives me a clear um, line up and down so that that works properly. And then if I want to, I can do symmetry up there. And that'll let me move these things like that also if I want. Rotate them and they're going to rotate the same way. So center and align I use all the time when I get my gizmo out of whack. So those are two super important features that I use all the time. You'll constantly see me doing that on my lives or my sculpts where I'm mirroring objects and also cutting objects out of each other. And that little pivot tool for your gizmo when you get out of line helps get you kind of centered back again. Another thing up here is this box. I'll tap that all the time too. If I want to make sure I get an exact center, 
view of the top, the bottom, my side, whatever, because if I'm rotating it around, it may not be perfectly on the right angle, right? So I know if I tap that front box, it'll be in the right spot. So that's some really important navigational pieces and functions that I use all the time. Next time I wanna go over, start going over these brushes and also how to make your own custom texture brushes that I use all the time. So hopefully these things are helpful to y'all and I'll talk to y'all later, bye.